Hi, this is Guava Moment, and welcome back to level 2 of Sylphid. Now, now, the reason we've been collecting points is that it unlocks new weapons. For example, we've unlocked the new wide beam for the right shot, and the EMDS, uh, I have no idea what it stands for, has 3.7 energy, that means we can use it three times. We get more energy by uh, getting more points, so that's why points are good. So let's try the new wide beam and this uh, new option. So stage two, an asteroid field. So you can see the new wide beam, it uh, doesn't have much range, and it kind of sweeps back and forth, but it does have a lot of power to make up for the fact that it doesn't actually come into contact with enemies very much. That's also why I'll be staying on the left side of the screen uh, most of the time. So, uh, asteroids! Gotta dodge them. And uh, kind of a trick in this level is to know which asteroids are in the foreground, and which ones are in the background and harmless. Part's kind of funny, those there are two guys that are scripted to smash into asteroids like that. And also get other little asteroids getting thrown at us, which you can shoot down from points. Uh the EMDS we got. First lasers. I don't think oh, okay, maybe you can't get hit by one of those. That was kind of cheap. But the EMDS, it's this. Let's get a little shield. Uh, this shield can absorb three enemy bullets. It just absorbed a bullet there. Or it can absorb one collision. Like that. Um, <laughs> neither of those were intentional, but hey, can't complain too much. Sometimes you can tell which asteroids you can actually collide into because your shots uh, make a little glowy thing on them. Shield repairs. Now, you might think that part was kind of cool, but uh, it's exactly the same every single time. Just hard left, hard right, and you get through that. It just kind of... It's cool the first time, kind of waste time every time after that. Just see more guys getting hit by asteroids. Uh, I hate those ones where asteroids blow up, because you can never tell which if it's like stuff you're actually going to collide with, or if it's just background asteroids. Uh, you'll notice I don't use that shield too much. I find it's a uh, very option energy heavy, and uh, you kind of need your option energy for other things. I mean, I'm at full health anyway, and it's not like I really need it. And this boss is, is laughably easy. If you just dodge that one part there, which has to collide with you. Just sit, yeah, easy. On to stage three. So now we've unlocked a new wide beam for both sides, and the antimatter bomb, which has a, a little bit more energy than the shield. Let's try those out. Now this is kind of a neat stage. You're going to be flying uh, through a lot of these capital ships and uh, do some things you wouldn't really expect out of that the other two levels haven't done. So here we can see the two wide beams. I have terrible range. There's a point in my firing arc where there's literally nothing shooting in front of me. But it's actually quite powerful. This isn't too, uh, too bad of a uh, loadout. I'm getting hit a lot. Uh, these guys are kind of jerks. These little blue star things uh, start out slow, but then accelerate towards you. They're uh, somewhat tricky to dodge. These guys, they're normally very easy to dodge, but I'm an idiot and got hit. This is a destroy all enemies thing. So aside from that one very close pass in the beginning, I don't think we actually need to fly too close to any of these uh, capital ships that we have to worry about hitting them. It's just kind of nice and pretty to look at. So 
So we have our first mini boss. Now, since I can shoot, like, to the side of me, might as well just do that. Uh, mini boss doesn't have a lot of health, and this weapon is uh, kind of powerful. So it went down really quickly. I uh, don't believe these, like, scrub guys show up until the mini boss is dead, so. To make it fair. So this is the uh, quote unquote boss fight of this. It's not an actual boss fight, it's uh, more of a gauntlet. Watch out to not smash into the walls, you have to dodge all this nonsense. Shoot all this stuff. Oh, this part at the end, I can show off the antimatter bomb. I... This fires this really powerful thing. Uh, I saw it flash white there once, it looks like I was kind of doing damage, but it just happens regardless of whether or not you actually hit it or not. It's kind of a weird thing. Never figured that out, but. That's stage three!